Welcome back, you amazing crazy people, back to the channel. Thanks a lot for all the support. It's me, True Fight Gaming, back in the business, guys. We're going to be playing Marvel's Spider Man. And if you could, share this video to all your friends. And if you could hit me up on Twitch if you're interested, True Fight Second. And yeah, let's get into it, guys. Uh, this is going to be the first part of several parts of Marvel Spider Man. And yeah, we'll walk through, we'll continue. In a few days uh, right now we're going to be going over a few of the skills uh, that you can acquire and how to get the different suits now right now uh, I really would appreciate if uh, anyone that is watching this uh, hit the red subscribe button now for all videos just like this walkthroughs or how to do walkthrough uh, if you're interested in the sort of thing yep and yeah we're gonna get straight into this guys right now I can't believe Shocker's loose again. What's his problem? Alright guys, as you can see we've got the next layer of suits and we were just playing around with a few other suits as well. Uh, yeah, as you can see we've got some pretty cool ones like the uh, Stark one and there's several Stark ones actually in the game so that's actually really cool that it's got the Avengers and everything like that. It's really cool, like I've been learning a lot about this game because it's completely different to the original three Spider-Man games that I played as a kid. Uh, I think there was one on Xbox, uh, a few on PlayStation and PlayStation 2. I mean, the main one that I remember is like Spider Man 2 or something. Uh, it was uh, pretty kick ass. And you got to play Green Go fight the Green Goblin and things like that. Similar to Star Wars games, things like that. Yeah, that, that, that sort of thing, like, kind of in introduced like a new kind of like way of Spider Man. So, this is really cool how you can upgrade everything. You got suits, you got gadgets, and all that, and you got different types of tiers and tokens to gather. I'm gonna go over them all shortly, guys. Um, a lot of it is just grinding, grinding, and yeah, I'll go into it shortly. Uh, as you can see, we can't really get these ones yet because we haven't got the research open just yet. You have to do quite a few missions to get into the main mission kind of like things like that we've got loads of different gadgets here as you can see in this spider-man it actually stays true to the marvel comics uh he actually makes his own webbing and he has loads of different gadgets for the tools and things like that and then we've got a skill tree and obviously his different suits uh, similar to batman in a way and things like that uh they all have their special gadgets and their tools and powers they can use i mean even the flash and things like that they all have special abilities and different suits that they use and weapons and things like that yeah so uh yeah as you can see we've got a skill tree here and you can upgrade his skills so they get better and better like this one you can actually instead of throwing just one person around or throwing s several items that you can pick up like a trash can you can actually spin them around even further and throw them at other people and things like that so uh as you can see, we're going to uh, eventually get to the point where we are doing tons and tons of damage uh, to the enemies. Obviously, they're going to get more health and things like that. It's going to cost a little bit more. So, uh, as you can see, this is kind of like the map I've already been around in uh, kind of the last episode. I didn't really show anyone. 
uh, really what that was. Uh, you had to go around. It's kind of like a theme, like in Assassin's Creed and things like Far Cry and Spider-Man and things like that. Towers and towers where you have to get to the top of a building and do some sort of thing, I like to say. You have to do stuff to uh, basically make the whole map uh, view. One of the easier ones probably is Assassin's Creed's climb to the tower. Just press the green triangle button to view the whole area and it'll open up the map. And yeah, you see what's going on and what quests and tasks that you can do to unlock things. Now in this one, it's a little bit different. They're radio towers. You kind of have to use your analog sticks to uh, figure out the radio signal. Uh, it's a little bit more technical than the others, but it's pretty easy when you get down to it. And yeah, so uh, as you can see, we're going to go with this one, the white Spider-Man, for a little bit. And we'll switch it up from here and there, depending on the enemies or what we are going to do for, for that kind of mission. But as you can see, there's only like two or three tokens that we can get. One of them being the crime tokens, that's the red one. Uh, we basically need to fight uh, the goonies and things like that to get tokens and we have to do certain tasks to get more tokens and that only kind of comes up as you're swinging about you're swinging about the town and uh, the police officers will say oh there's a crime in the vicinity and then you go ahead and do the tasks that you need to do like chasing a car robbery or helping out civilians things like that uh, one of the other ones is using your photograph uh, your building or something like that you have to get in the right area as you can see I've not quite in the right area so we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna look in the area if we can stay on the building and um, we're gonna zoom in and try and take a photo here so we're gonna zoom in if we can get in the right area might have to go a little bit higher let's try getting up here And there we go, you can already hear a report of a mugging. That means there's going to be a crime in the vicinity. So that means we can kind of like do that. There we go, we can take a picture now. It says subject frame and it's green here. So we can take the photo there. Love it. So we just take the photo and we get a landmark token. Now that's going to help you uh, a lot for certain things. Uh, one of the main skills or suits as well will take landmark tokens. Uh, there's enough tokens to go around for all the suits, so just be careful that you don't use them on too many things on the ones that you need. Now, one of the other things we're going to do is find items that Spider-Man has previously uh, just left around the town. Uh, they're like backpack, so uh, that's pretty much what you have to do. There we go, we found another landmark, we got another landmark token there. And yeah, so we're going to find the backpacks uh, as items and he talks about it. So if you view it, he talks about what happened and what helped him improve his suits and things like that. And it gives you a little bit more into the story of what this Spider-Man is about. So let's get straight back into it guys. It's just going to be a lot of this and that, just gathering things for Spider-Man. Let's get straight back into it. The infamous dumpling recipe. Should have come with step 10. Try not to burn everything in MJ's apartment. Advised. A kidnapping has been reported. Need 
officers on scene in the financial district. I'll set my earpiece to focus on muffled voices. Superheroing doesn't leave much time for good hygiene. Gotta get it where I can. Body heat significant. Easy, I've got you. Thanks. Are the cops understaffed? I was afraid no one would find me. Oh man, there they are! Get him, Spidey! my bacon, Spider-Man. That was sweet. They deserved it. Guy in a trunk. Man, I feel like I say this every 20 minutes, but only in New York. Alright, so this is going to be one of our last kind of one. We got the crime tokens and then we got the kind of like other tokens that you get from the bases and they're going to be called base tokens. Uh, so these are going to help you with your gadgets and things like that. They're going to be able to help you upgrade your gadgets. Now what you need to do is a lot of them will give you added bonuses like taking down enemies from behind or taking out free snipers at once uh, without them noticing so you're gonna try and do these stealthily one of the key things that I learned was um, the best thing is to not let them see you so uh, doing this from the high highest possible point that you can get to um, as you can see we're gonna grab onto this kind of ledge here this beam and we're just gonna go around and we're gonna use our detecting find out where the enemies are and we're going to try and distract them and take out them and there we go we completed one of the tasks now we just have to perform 10 dodges I think they're super dodges or perfect I think what they call them is perfect dodge perfect hit so we need to do 10 perfect 
dodges. So what we're going to do is just keep pressing the dodge button when they fire like guns or rockets and things like that. So we're going to try and take them out as stealthily as possible. And then there's going to be several different waves of this base that you have to do. Usually it's about three different waves. And we get some rocket launchers and different like enemies like that. Uh, some of them will have electric rods and obviously we're going to be like trying to take them out one by one and that's going to help us with the dodge. Uh, we're going to dodge the rockets and things like that. Uh, another thing we can do is we can hit the items like boxes around the area and we can hit them and try and distract the enemies. Ah! 
Start! Let's finish them off! Stay away from the west! I'll teach you some respect! Really? More guys? I don't have this many friends! Only acceptable if you're all showing up in clown cars. Yuri, I got a bunch of incapacitated criminals and designer narcotics all wrapped up and waiting for you. Great, I'll just consider this an anonymous tip.
Right, so here we are guys. So this is what um, we're looking at several different suits and we get special abilities like spider bro here or uh, able to deflect bullets or an aura uh, several different like abilities and what we need to unlock these suits is like backpack tokens crime tokens and things like that as you can see we've unlocked this one we're going to use it and what the ability is is when you jump up and down you can kind of basically throw loads of webs across the area and the other one is holo uh, it's like a hello beacon and the guards will get distracted and things like that and you can best use your abilities like that with your skills and your gadgets and stuff uh, by using the suits abilities the different suits and what they do for you it's just really cool to uh, see all these skills in action People know my parents died in a plane crash, but I still can't tell anyone they were government agents. I wish I knew more about them. I wish anyone did.
folks, because this is a bombshell. We have on the line a lady whose husband was kidnapped by Spider-Man. What? No, no, you've got it all wrong. My husband was kidnapped by criminals who shoved him into the trunk of a car. Spider-Man found him and got him out, then arrested the criminals when they came back. All right, guys, here you go. Here's one of the uh, backpacks. Could never make it work on my own. And obviously, this is going to be one of the items that you can find around the area. It's 11 out of 55. So once you acquire all the backpacks, you get the achievement for obviously backpacks been found. Uh, so we're going to go on to some crime tokens now, and obviously you can see there's a red kind of triangle there, and it's going to tell you what it is and what you need to do. You want to detect the area and decide what you need to do to take them out uh, to get extra tokens and on this one you got to basically find the trunk so um, obviously there you go we found the enemies there and what we're gonna do is take them all out here we go we're gonna throw a few things at them and web them up things like that we're gonna dodge some bullets here we go here we go throw some things at them uh, we can use whatever you want around uh, the area. Just use whatever abilities you think is going to beat them the fastest. There we go. We managed to acquire one of the two uh, additional uh, tasks to get extra tokens. But that's pretty much what you got to do for the majority of the crime tokens. One of the other ones, you have to search for a trunk. Uh, find the person in the trunk, save them, and then take out the enemies. Pretty much it's the same kind of thing, uh, it's just not in waves. It's just a set amount of enemies, whereas the base token is waves. Uh, you want to go in guns blazing knowing that you got to take on quite a few different enemies. And if you get low health, you got to make sure to heal yourself up, things like that. Uh, you got to know your surroundings and what's best for you to take them out. Up peace. Wilson Fisk Science Prize Trophy.
God, how much I love photography. All right, guys. So that's pretty much what you have to do to unlock new skills, new abilities. Obviously, to get the tokens to upgrade your suits to get new uh, suit abilities. But that's it from me. I'd like to thank you all for the support so far, and hopefully for the upcoming support. I hope you're gonna have a great Christmas, and I'll catch you in the new year.